Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Be Burrell here. Just want to show you a quick example of how to copy and paste those trade ideas that will be sent out. Please remember to review the welcome area here to review all the terms and the community conditions. The trade idea will come through like this. You're going to see the pair name, which it says USDJPY. It will tell you to buy or sell, which is right there on the right. And it's going to tell you which order type. For my new, for those who don't understand what an order type is, um, I'll go over there in just a second. So this is the trading app called MetaTrader 4. Okay. And I'm going to be trading the pair USDJPY. Simple, if you notice at the top, it says simple or advanced. Simple just gives you the pairs. Advanced gives you the pairs with the spread. When you press USDJPY, you just tap on it. I am using an iPhone for this example. You'll press the word trade. And typically I do execution and limit orders. I don't ever do buy stops or sell stops. So you guys are good with that. So notice at the top, it says USDJPY. Always confirm the name of the pair. If you're moving too fast, sometimes you can click the wrong pair. So USDJPY, um, it has market execution right here at the top. So this is where our order types are. This, um, this basically just tells the, this is just programming the trade idea to activate. So it either be an execution trade or to be one of those limit trades, okay? So right now the order says sell execution. I have it on execution, okay? It may say market execution or instant execution. As long as you see the word execution, you are in the right place. Now, the only thing we need to do next is make sure guys right here, this is your investment size. I'm gonna do a different video on that one, so just hold tight. Um, but if you're new, just make sure it's on 0 0.01. So let me change mine. Make sure it's on this size for every single new person to get acclimated to these trade ideas. And then from there, you can scale how much you want to invest, okay? So um, you press, um, you fill in these next two boxes. On the left side, it says stop loss and take profit. Now notice on the right side, it has not set yet, okay? So what we wanna do is come here. You're gonna, when you do execution trades, guys, you do not need the word price, okay? Now price is, let me let you guys know what price is. If you notice at the very bottom right here, right above the blue and red box is, is some numbers that are changing. That lets you know how close you are to the price. Price means this is our starting point, okay? This is an example that trade is no longer close to this example, but I wanna make sure you guys understand that price, when you see the word price, you wanna make sure it's close to um, one of those numbers right there on the left or right, okay? So if it's a sale, you wanna make sure it's around at least you know two to three numbers within range, okay? I hope that makes sense. If not, please send me a message. So all we need are two numbers, stop loss and take profit, okay? Now, why are there three different take profits, guys? It depends on your, your profit goal. If you're brand new, I recommend TP number one or two. Just get in and out of those trades until you become more advanced. Um, for my advanced people, please be, remember, be mindful of setting your stop profits. Um, and, and if you're going to be trailing, you don't need any take profit, okay? You'll just be trailing those positions. So anywho, um, or you can always remove the take profit and let the trade continue down. But let me try to keep this simple for you guys. So all we need to do is fill in these two boxes, stop loss and take profit number one. So stay, stop loss is 114, 179. So we will tap inside this box. Every time you tap, guys, it's going to automatically populate a random number Please make sure you delete that number out and fill in the correct number. 114, um, 179. Okay, that's all you have to do. USDJPY, execution trade, 0 .001, 0 0.01 for my lot size, AKA my investment size. My stop loss is 114.79. And my take profit, so I'm gonna take profit number one, 113.879. So we'll do 113, 879. And then from here, you would just press the red button. I am not going to place this trade because it has already transpired. It's already done. It already hit the profit goal, okay? Uh, I just want to go in a little bit more in depth.